What's going on guys? It's your boy Peter and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get your aircraft maintenance engineer license with a foreign country license. I'm talking about people that already have a type of license in the country. It could be FAA license, it could be ESA, it could be B1, B2 license that are considering coming into Canada to get an aircraft maintenance engineer license. And make sure you guys watch this video to the end because I'm going to be giving guys more details, information on how to get your aircraft maintenance engineer license. <laughs> So I want you guys to understand something, right? Whatever information I tell you guys today does not guarantee the approval of your application. And that's because I actually did my research on this and I asked people that actually went through this process and I got three sides of the story. People that actually applied for the application and they got approved. The second side is people that actually applied but Transport Canada told them to actually do some courses and that's because Transport Canada does not recognize all the courses that are being taken in some countries. So they gotta they gotta do some type of courses again. You know what I'm saying? And the third side of the story is people that actually applied and they didn't get approved. You know what I'm saying? And also I also heard it also depends on the country you come from. And that's because they are people that actually applied previously from the type of country and they lied in their application application and now transport canada are really picky with those people that are from that country so all whatever information i give today does not guarantee the approval of your application so the first thing you want to do is to contact transport canada right you want to tell them your situation you want to tell them you know what i'm saying i have this type of license in my country i want to i want to come to canada and i want to transfer my license into an aircraft maintenance engineer license they will give you usually they give you the steps on how to do the application but i'm going to tell you guys the first thing i heard they actually tell you to do is to submit all your educational diploma so what you want to do is you want to grab all your diploma or degree and make sure it's been stamped by the school so that way it's been proved that you actually went to this school and it's been stamped by you know some type of it could be your you know professor it could be your you know what I'm saying? It's gotta be stamped on the document, gotta be stamped. And that's because there have been records of people actually lying in their application. You know what I'm saying? That's why Transport Canada is really picky with people applying from other countries. So what you wanna do is to grab your diploma and make sure it's being stamped. The second thing you wanna do is to have the courses you took in school. And that's because Transport Canada is going to go through all the courses Firstly, they got to make sure you pass all the courses, make sure you have a certain hours on the courses, and also they got to make sure those courses can be used for Canadian experience, can be counted as Canadian experience. And I also heard stories of people submitting their courses and they didn't get approved. They had to do some type of course again. And that's because Transport Canada did not recognize all the courses. For example, there was a guy from Tunisia that told me, he told me he submitted all his document but for some reason, Transport Canada told him he's got to do like an helicopter course. You know what I'm saying? So you can be in that kind of situation whereby Transport Canada might tell you like, you know, you got to take this course for you to do the application. So once you have your, you know, your courses, everything all set up, your diploma all set up. So what you want to do is grab the logbook. For second, sorry. Thirdly, you want to make sure you have a type of employment letter that actually proved you worked in this company and the minimum requirement for you to be able to even apply for to transfer your license is four years so you gotta have a four years experience in your country before you can actually transfer into an AME license so once you have that four years you know you qualify to have that four years now you want to get your employment letter from that country company that tells you that hey I actually worked here as an aircraft maintenance engineer I have my license, these are the type of aircraft I worked on and it's got to be signed by a type of manager or a chief of maintenance. It's no, it's not, no HR cannot stamp this, your friend cannot stamp this, it's got to be signed by someone that is actually in the company, someone that is currently in the company and that's because most of the time they actually contact 
the company to make sure it's legit and like i said people have actually lied in the previous application and now they're really picking on some kind of applications that come true you know what i'm saying so once you have your employment letter all signed up you also want to have your logbook so you want to grab your logbook from your country and it's got to be signed by you know it's got to be signed the taxes you did and it's got to be signed by a licensed person in your country also so once you have those signed the second bro it's gonna be a long process you know what i'm saying and once you have those documents your logbook all signed up and it's got to be verified by a licensed person that he actually did the taxes you now want to get all the history that you actually worked on that job you know what i'm saying for example in your law book if you have like removal of landing gear you want to grab like a history from your company that actually shows that hey you are actually working in that you know in that job you actually did that job and that's because i heard stories of people applying for it in you know transport canada did not ask for it and i've also heard stories of people applying for it and now the transport canada told them like yo you gotta bring all the proof you know what i'm saying so i want you guys to, i want to give you guys all this information so you can be prepared for the worst you know what i'm saying because your application approval actually depends on the type of agent that handles your case i've heard good stories and i heard bad stories you know what i'm saying so it depends on the person that actually handles your case so once you have your logbook signed up by a licensed person in your company in your country you want to make sure you have all the taxes history and prove that you actually did those taxes i know some mro you know companies AM, amo companies actually have records of you know all the taxes they did and they have whoever did that job so you want to make sure your name is there and that actually proves that you did all those jobs right so once that is all signed up now you can actually send your application to transport canada you can actually send your files and documents to transport canada and once all those documents our documents are all approved now you gotta do four exams so you're doing airframes you do a power plant you do a standards and c and cars so you gotta do four exams once those four exams you know you pass those four exams now you can apply for your aircraft maintenance engineering license and i know it's a long process you know it could be stressful sometimes but and that's because people have actually you know sliding the application and people have actually you know you know made false accusation in the application now transport canada are really picky with whoever transferred the license you know what i'm saying so once you have those all signed up then trust me we all have all the exams done everything is all done you, that's it that's you don't have to do no more presses and the good thing about this is you don't you don't need a job offer actually to get your license in canada you know so you don't have to have no job offer you can just apply for it get your license and move to canada you know what i'm saying and the second way i also heard of how you can do your transfer your foreign license is by doing an ics course it's an online course but the problem with that is transport canada are actually really really picky with whoever does whoever gets approved with that um with that um course and um and also not only that and some companies are actually picky and they prefer people that actually went through the college or university process to get their education rather than because the ics course is like a six month online courses you know what i'm saying so but some companies are really picky you know big companies like you know westjet air canada air transit they're really picky with they prefer people that actually went through the whole full, full program the full full two years program you know what i'm saying so yeah those are the type of ways to get your aircraft maintenance engineer license with a foreign license if you guys have any more um questions or you want me to make some clarity you know, you know whatever i said right now because i actually i had to ask a couple of my co-workers and friends that actually went through the process and one of the things i'm actually going to do in the future is to try to do an interview 
with one of those guys so that way it can make you know it makes it more easy it's better to it's better for someone that actually went through the process to explain it to you guys right you know what i'm saying because for me i actually got a canadian education right that's why it got more easy for me right so yeah those are the that's the two ways you can get your um transfer your license your foreign license into um ame um if you guys have any more questions um always drop it down in the comment section on my instagram you can always deal me in my instagram i'm always ready to help you guys man i really appreciate all the love and support and for you guys that watch me you gotta subscribe man show your boy some love man you know what i'm saying i really appreciate what you guys have asked me more questions you know what i'm saying like i said i'm here for me aviation is like a family industry especially for AMEs. you know what i'm saying it's a really small industry and we gotta we gotta help each other out man you know what i'm saying I'm gonna do my best to give you guys as much, you know, little information I know. I'm ready to share with you guys, man. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram. You can drop it down in the comment section, email, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate all the love and support. And for you guys that are watching, man, you gotta subscribe, man. Show your boy some love, man. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Love you guys.